Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Launched at Basel World 2017 and manufactured in a limited series of 250 pieces, this is the Hublot Big Bang Unico Sapphire Blue, a delightful combination of titanium, silicone, and synthetic sapphire with a blue hue. This is one of the lightest most comfortable and unarguably most scratch resistant watches you will ever encounter with the impressive Hublot 1242 in-house Unico 70 hour column wheel chronograph. This is a lovely piece with horological fascination to match. Now on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist you get a good sense of the Big Bang Unico. It's still 45 millimeters and as you can see 45 really doesn't describe the size of it because it has those winglets, it has chronograph pushers, it has the crown. The timepiece in terms of thickness 16.2 looks and feels its girth. It is a thick timepiece. It's not going to hide underneath almost any cuff. Lug to lug it's a big watch but it doesn't wear as big as the measurement suggests. You can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist the 57.6 millimeter lug to lug doesn't quite wear that way. As I'll lift the watch up and you can see the secret the lugs at their edges, see those downturns? They arc around your wrist and they help to seat the watch, keeping it secure and making it look a bit more proportional by draping it down around the side of your wrist rather than flaring straight out as some broad watches can on a smaller wrist. Now I'm going to open this one up. I like to size these silicone strap hublots for my wrist so that they don't pop off or go flying while I'm showing you the fit. The timepiece itself nicely made with a perfectly matching and handsomely shaded silicone strap. So this is a wonderful transition both in proportion as the taper matches in profile and the taper matches when seen from head on. The strap itself has a transparency to it that nicely coordinates with the transparent qualities of the blue sapphire. Being silicone, it is very flexible. It has a few striations on the top for definition, and it's not like vulcanized rubber. This is much softer. It's almost a gummy type feel. The Hublot Titanium Twin Trigger Deploying Clasp is a lightweight piece that's hypoallergenic, like the case back of the sapphire watch. And you can see that inside there's an Hublot satin finished logo within the clasp, a detail that I adore. And as I demonstrated before, you simply tuck the strap underneath the clasp. And once sized, there are no minder loops to mar the strap. And there's no excess length visible externally. So it's both a very secure clasp and a very clean one. The case is a handsome piece. If you're familiar with the Big Bang, you realize that the sort of architectural exoskeleton look, the appearance of a machine not quite completed or the machine taken from the inside and brought to the outside is very much intact, but there's a whole new level of interest in that you can actually see the movement through the flanks of the case. In fact, you can see the movement through almost every angle of the case. All of the hardware and metal is satin finished titanium. Almost everything else is sapphire, which means the watch is exceptionally light on the wrist as sapphire, if you haven't encountered it personally, is a very lightweight material. It's not, it's not very dense. And at the same time, sapphire is harder even than ceramic and ceramized surfaces. So this is a very scratch resistant material. J jumping right in, you can see the detail of the dial starts with the detail of the bezel, where you have those satin finished Hublot H pattern bezel bolts. And then moving a little bit closer, we'll give ourselves some more light. You can see the arrow style Hublot dial. The Unico is a chronograph built upside down, which is to say you can actually see on the dial side, watch at six o'clock and adjacent to it, you can see both the column wheel and the lateral clutch of the chronograph engaging and cycling, whereas normally you have to take a watch off the wrist to enjoy these features. The Unico shows you all this on the dial side. You can see that there is a second sapphire underneath on which all of the registers as well as the numerals which are applique are mounted and that second register is a effectively a 60 minute chronograph you can see constant seconds at nine and then a 60 minute chronograph at three which i find is actually the most useful kind of chronograph because in general i measure intervals of less than an hour but many times longer than 30 minutes with a chronograph. Well, with the Unico, you get a handy dandy 60 minute chronograph register. Everything is blue to coordinate with the case itself. And then there is a sort of ruthenium finish to the bridges and plates that creates a dark grayscale beneath the primary dial features. There is a date at three o'clock. It features a quick set. You can see the counterweighted seconds hand. Note that the Unico is a flyback chronograph that you can reset and restart with a single push of the trigger. And of course, there is a sapphire flange inboard against 
which you can read the chronograph seconds and fractions of second. Now the timepiece featuring stop seconds and a quick set date, turn it all over, and it also features automatic winding with a 70 hour power reserve, an unlubricated long maintenance interval silicon escapement. It drives its minute register straight off of the barrel to minimize the loss of amplitude while the chronograph is running. Lateral clutch and column wheel for crisp actuation. It's a bi-directional winder that doesn't have a whole lot of rotor wobble or rattle, and that in spite of high efficiency sealed for life ceramic rotor bearings. The full balance bridge is very shock resistant and the balance beats weigh at 28,800 vibrations per hour. The 38 joule movement is designed and manufactured and finished entirely in-house by Hublot. So this is truly manufacturer watchmaking in a case that is well, one might say inextricably linked to the sensibility of the manufacturer from Neon, Switzerland. This is an uh, Hublot look, but it's no longer just big and bold. It is now sophisticated, both in the materials used and the engineering within. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Big Bang Unico Blue Sapphire. You can see fully lit by night. I should mention one last piece of the spec sheet. 50 meters water resistant with screw down crown.